a block kept on a rough inclined plane as shown in the figure remains at rest up to a maximum force 2 newton down the inclined plane the maximum external force up the inclined plane that does not move the block is 10 newton the coefficient of static friction between the block and the plane is initially a block is placed on an inclined plane and angle of inclination is 30 degrees. Weight of the block is acting in downward direction and this weight is resolved into two rectangular components. Along this direction component is mg cos theta and along the inclined plane in downward direction component is mg sin theta. Initially Two newtons of force is applied on the block to get the equilibrium position. These two forces not applied at a time. Initial force is two newtons. So when two newtons of force is applied on the block, this block is at equilibrium position. Along the inclined plane in downward direction, Two newtons of force is applied at the same time mg sin theta also acting in downward direction. In opposite direction frictional force mu mg cos theta acts on the body. F is equals to mu n where mu is the coefficient of static friction and n is equals to mg cos theta. Resultant force is equals to 0. 2 plus mg sin theta is equals to mu mg cos theta. Take equation 1. And after then, 10 newtons of force is applied on the block in upward direction. Due to this force, this block is at equilibrium position. When force is applied in upward direction, then frictional force acting in downward direction. So along the inclined plane in downward direction, mg sin theta at the same time frictional force. These two forces acting in downward direction and this body is at equilibrium position. So from this, mg sin theta plus frictional force mu s mg cos theta is equals to 10. Take equation 2. Substitute equation 1 in equation 2. From this mg sin theta plus in place of mu s mg cos theta substitute 2 plus mg sin theta. 2 plus mg sin theta is equals to 10. mg sin theta plus mg sin theta 2 mg sin theta that is equals to 10 minus 2 8. 2 mg theta is equals to 30 degrees. Sin 30 value 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is equals to 8. Here 2 to get cancelled. From this mg is equals to 8. In this question, we have to find out the coefficient of static friction. Now we know mg value. Substitute mz value in any one of the equation. Substitute mg is equals to 8 in equation 1. 2 plus in place of mg, 8 into sin theta sin 30 degrees 1 by 2 is equals to mu s into in place of mg 8 cos 30 degrees root 3 by 2. 2 1s 2 fourths. 2 plus 4 is equals to 6. 6 is equals to here 2 1s 2 fourths. 4 root 3 into mu s. 2 twos, 2 threes. Mu s is equals to 3 by 2 root 3. 
that is equals to root 3 by 2. Coefficient of static friction is equals to root 3 by 2. Second option is correct. 